Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, I slept good last night. So, I'm making coffee for us. Yay. Uh, it, it really isn't. It, it was 95 yesterday. And, of course, it's going to get up to 100, 105. That's 10 degrees. Doesn't sound like much, but it'll, it'll make a big difference. But, this now, in the middle of the night, it does get chilly compared. And I didn't have a sheet on or anything. And it'd be nice to kind of pull something over on me. But, you know, then I have to wake up so, so much. So, um, it's kind of, it's kind of, I feel good. I got um, sleeves on today. And I'm just going to wear this today. We'll see. We'll see how the temperature ends up if I have to go sleeveless or whatever. So, but uh, it feels good inside of here, inside my minivan. It feels good. So I wanted to do a couple of um, wrap-ups of uh, my trip to Prescott. And it was good to get out. It really was good to get out. But I wanted, there were a couple of um, incidences that were funny, but they were kind of odd. Coffee's almost ready. Water. But, okay, well, I'll start with the girls. Those little, the, they were probably, oh, they said they were around seven. What a cute age for young girls. And they did have a, a an, not really an infant. It was probably like a eight-month-old. There we go. Eight-month-old. And um, one of the dads was carrying around. It looked like um, three, maybe even four families. But there were like six girls running around cute as buttons they were running around just squealing having so much fun and uh they were adorable too i mean they had the cutest little outfits on and their hair their moms had their hair all fixed up well eventually and the finally you know kids are kind of talk don't talk to strangers so but um uh, Joanne and I, we, we seemed like we were, I mean, we're nice ladies. So eventually, um, one of the, one of the girls came over behind the tent and she was looking at us. We were sitting on our chairs and she goes, she goes, are you YouTubers? <laughs> so cute. She, and, um, I said, yeah, how did you know? And she goes, well, I saw you walking around with your camera. And of course I have the microphone with the little fuzzy on it. So it looks all official. They were so cute. So she went, and then, of course, there were a couple girls inside the tent, and they zipped down um, the window. And then the girl goes, they're YouTubers. <laughs> I guess YouTubers is a big deal for kids. And they're like, oh, wow, so you guys do YouTube. And then they start talking, their mom did YouTube. She has a dance thing or whatever. But after that, we just, we're, we heard them running around. Of course, they had their little games you know, playing mommy, and they had the little games going, and it was adorable. I, um, I mean, I don't know, but there's good, there's different people in all groups, different types of people, but I know there's some types of people they talk about on their channel that have to be really far from other people. They need their total isolation, seclusion. Uh, that's not me. I like being around people. I like hearing people, um, even if it's off in the distance. I like hearing people. I like, uh, not loud music or offensive music, things like that. Or if they're swearing or that one bass thing that, that people do in their cars. No, I don't like that kind of noise. But the noise of people having fun or talking or, and, um, and getting along, not fighting. And, uh, I think you know what I mean. Because I imagine it can get kind of rowdy, maybe at times. Ooh, that's better. It can probably get rowdy at times, you know, where there's a party and maybe people are drinking and it's starting to get go go in the wrong direction, <laughs> as they say. But uh, that would be scary. But when it's just normal um, chit-chat and um, especially, you know, like kids having fun, I love it. I mean, that can be around me all the time. I think it's great. But they were the they were just so cute. I'll never forget them. Um, they were so sweet. And they'd be over there like this. They go, they would be like, 
I go, oh, I... And one actually came close, and she had this thing. She kept, like, going like this with it. And um, it was something in a cup. And uh, she, like, actually walked over to me. You know, I mean, our, our society is getting so weird that, I mean, and I'm the same with my grandchildren. You know, like, oh, don't get so close to strangers. Um, be careful. But she came all the way over to my chair over by in our camp. And then she, I looked in there, and she had some uh, little sour gummies. You know how they love those little sour gummies? And I go, oh, are those little sour ones? She goes, mm -hmm. and um, And she goes, don't tell my mom I came over here. <laughs> I, go, I go, oh, no, don't keep secrets from your mom. Go tell her. And when I looked over, the dad was watching her, you know, and then he, he had a smile on his face. I mean, we looked normal, but you know how, I mean... Social distancing. I feel bad for these kids. Not only do they have stranger danger, now they have to do social distancing. Yeah. Oh, well. It'll all come out in the wash. So uh, that's that. They were just as adorable as can be. Um, here's your coffee. Drink up. It's morning. Or whatever day it is for you. Let's Let's have coffee. And tea. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Joanne cooked. And uh, when I, I got there Friday night, and of course, then, uh, she, has, uh, she has a condo, and I, she has a parking in the back. It's covered parking. And so I, I slept in my minivan. That's what's great about us. Uh, if we go visit family or whatever, uh, we don't have to impose on anybody. We can just we have our own little space right here, our traveling home on wheels. Ah, but she was cooking, and I tasted it while I was there, and she brought some curry chicken. Oh, my gosh. It was so good with rice. And then when we were at camp, she actually made um, fresh rice. Sometimes white rice can kind of get hard and stay hard, but she made fresh rice. We had both um, uh, butane stoves going and everything, and it was good. And then she brought this cake, and um, sorry, I don't remember the name of the cake, but it's a famous type of cake. She makes it all the time. It's really good. <laughs> So yeah, I ate really good while I was there. I hardly I had a couple apples, but I didn't really have to eat anything of mine. And then at the end, um, she brought bologna and cheese. I know bologna, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't even want to discuss bologna, what's in it, and all that. But you know, I do like it. Everyone's it reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, um, but I do like bologna, and it was good. Uh, bologna sandwich, mayo. I put mustard on mine. Mm. And then the cheese, you know, like the cheese slices. American cheese, it was really good. So, yeah, I ate really different this weekend. It was nice to break the, break up the monotony of what I do day after day after day. Um, one more, uh, she, um, well, a couple more things. She also had, she showed me, um, she said it might be useful for me. Uh, she has a USB um, hair curler, uh, you know, a, a hair wand. USB, wow. And it heats up. And it, she said, doesn't take long. We didn't try it. But I did. So I went on Amazon when I got back. And I found cell service. <laughs> and I, what I was doing, all the things that I couldn't do when I didn't have um, cell coverage. I had a, I had a, um, an index card. And I was writing everything down so I could then look at it. So look it up so I wouldn't, I wouldn't forget. So I did. And I looked on Amazon. There's a few of them on there. So it might be handy if you're out and, and you know, um, I mean, for you guys, maybe not, but for us girls, some of us, and not all of us, but some of us uh, do want to really look nice. And plus, um, she said it might be nice for me if I'm out and, you know, I'm making videos and things like that. So, yeah. Just wanted to mention that they're out there. Okay, so something happened and... Um, we went to Cracker Barrel first because we tried another place. We were going to go boondock, but it was like 17 or it was like, it was like 10 miles through and it was a bumpy road. I mean, for 10 miles, you know, I'm like, and I didn't have any cell service and, uh, no, that was, um, I didn't like that. It was, it was too much. And then we eventually found, um, Thumb Butte Road. 
But, uh, so after that bumpy, bumpy 10 mile road, and I turned, after like a couple miles, I turned around and, and I said, no, this, this isn't going to work for me. I mean, in my minivan and it's, you know, bumping up and down. And some of these roads, you almost need, uh, it's, you can get there, but I believe it would be better to have a four wheel drive better. I mean, why do I want to just for this one road? I want to put such wear and tear on my shocks, my tires, and everything, you know. When I can find something just as well with a, with an easier road. Okay, so that's my thinking on that. So we went back to, I said, well, let's, well, I'm hungry. Let's go find a place. And she goes, well, crack, Cracker Barrel. So we did, and we went to Cracker Barrel. Everybody has to wear those masks. We don't have to, but they do. And uh, they're just so hot. They look so uncomfortable. And you can see them breathing. I mean, it's, it's breathing in and out because it's those surgical masks. They're the blue ones. They're almost like paper. And you can see them breathing. It's just the oddest thing to see all these people working now in everything, in every type of business that they're dealing with customers that they have to wear these. And I just... Yeah, I feel bad for them. You know, whether you like the mask or not, you got to feel bad for some of these people wearing them because they're trying to work and they can't. I always ask them, I go, well, how are you doing? Can you read? They go, no. I go, are you doing okay? They go, no, I hate it. <laughs> it's like, okay. Um, so we we ate. It was good. Went to pay. And I wanted, I just wanted like, it was, it was, it was different. I've never experienced this before. Maybe you have. Of course, I don't go to restaurants for half and so. Um, but Joanne does, and she said she's never seen it either. When we went to pay on the thing where we, you put the card in and you're going to deal with it, a, a um, little um, uh, rectangle showed up where you like for your pin. You know, to, oh, you got to put it in your pin. So I put in my pin. I mean, I didn't have my glasses on, and I, I didn't read what it said. I figured, what else is it for my pen? So I put in my pen. <laughs> and then, so then she goes, okay. Um, uh, then then this other thing came up for my pen, and it said uh, $54. <laughs> I was like, and, you know, how many times do we not even notice that? I bet a lot, and we don't notice it. I do happen to kind of look at it like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, what, what is this? And, uh, and she goes, oh well, you put in your for your tip. So that first one was for you, my tip. And I go, oh no, 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 what? That, yeah, like I'm gonna give like forty some dollars. It was eleven dollars, forty dollars for tip. And although some people do give tips like that, but it's like it's a wild thing. Oh, I got two thousand dollar tip from this guy. Uh, no, I'm not gonna give a forty dollar tip. Uh, so she took that off, and I thought that seems fishy to me. You know, she could have, like, let me know that that was... She goes, well, that was for your tip. You got to read that. And I'm like, you know, come on, people. It's the same size square that you put in for your um, your pen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, it seems fishy to me. Yeah. Uh, Joanne was a little more... Pretty. She goes, well, I'm going to give him the benefit. Well, it happened to her, too. She was next. Hers was going to be... Um, she had must have a smaller pen. Her pin smarts with... Pins, her... Her pin starts with a, a lower number. Mine is a higher number. That's why mine was so big. And the, uh, they actually ran it through. And then when she got the receipt, she goes, wait a minute. She goes, why was it this amount of money? And they go, well, that was your tip. And I looked at her and went, you know, it happened to... So it happened to two people right off the bat. Um, and intelligent people at that. So uh, we're just we're just talking like, are you kidding me? I How much money do they make every day for like you know a lot of older people go into Cracker Barrel too that they don't even like they didn't even look at the re they didn't even look at the receipt they go do you want your receipt nah and I'll bet it's like over oh, it's like thousands every day that people put in they think it's their pen and it's not it's it's for a tip so heads up everybody <laughs> It could go on. This could happen in a lot of different places. 
Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, the last, <laughs> the last incident there. Um, on Saturday afternoon, we were walking around, and we wanted to see that. I say there's a lot of rocks around. Uh, let me rephrase that. There were a lot of boulders. I mean boulders, big boulders um, everywhere, like these rock formations. And then you'd have trees with, in the middle were all these rock formations. And some were like leaning this way. And it was, it was beautiful. So we're kind of taking pictures of each other. Oh, take a picture of me. Oh, get up there and, um, you know, getting ideas for um, good good photography. And so I'm looking, and I looked way down because we're kind of moving towards away from camp and where there's nobody around. And I saw a bunch of clothes kind of stuffed down there. I go, what is this? You know, out in the middle of nowhere. And there's these clothes, like a bunch of them. So we had to walk all the way around these boulders to see what was going on. And I was like, oh my gosh. It looked, it, it literally did. And I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll show you the picture. I kind of set it up with these things, so I, you'll see, you'll see. Um, there were, it looked like a decomposed body. It it really did. And when you see the picture, you'll understand. <laughs> there were all these clothes, and they, and it was, uh, it was, um, the whole setup was, they had it on a, somebody had put it there. They had, they had it on this, um, like a towel, but it was more like a a um a bath sheet, you know, they're really big. Not a bath towel, but a bath sheet. Um and it was really dirty and it was sort of reddish like but yeah. <laughs> well I'll let you see it. And then I'll tell ya. So here you go. Okay, so we saw that and I was like, oh my, I mean, it really did like, I really did think, oh my God, it's somebody died. Somebody just was out here living and, and then there was a little thing of, um, on one of the boulders beside it, there was a thing of toothpaste. Like somebody was living out there and they just, maybe they ran out of water and they just like laid on the rock and just, you know, and now the body was decomposing because it looked like it wasn't really fully formed body, but it was rot rotted. <laughs> yeah. And there were clothes all, you know, kind of stuffed around and, um, so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, should we go tell somebody? And um, so Joanne got brave. And she went, um, and not right away, <laughs> but eventually she walked. She had a little closer and then a little closer, braver and braver, getting, getting closer. And then finally she found a stick and she lifted up. There were sticks under there, under this, um, this, this piece of uh, material. I don't know what the material was. I didn't get close to it, but because uh, it looked like dried blood, like it was pinkish, like the sun had it was blood, but the sun had uh, made it uh, had faded it. I'm mean, seriously like somebody. It, it looked. I was thinking somebody had had passed away or something, and it'd been there for a very long, long time. Maybe even like six, eight months or something. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it didn't make sense because if it really was a dead body, animals probably around there would have like 
Yeah, okay. But anyways, it was a total setup. There were sticks under there. Somebody had done sticks to make it look like these legs were... And then that was even scarier that somebody had actually set something like that up way off to the side. Like, well, you know, and I started looking around like, are there people living out here? Uh, maybe I need to like go back to camp. No, it was, it was actually pretty spooky. Either, either scenario was spooky to me that somebody would have taken time to set that up, putting toothpaste out there, putting clothes out there, putting the, um, the sticks in such a way that, yeah. So it was very odd. It was, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, cheers to scene setups out in the middle of nowhere. So that's uh, my little chitter chatter for the morning. <laughs> good stuff. Okay, so onward and upward. You guys have a really good day. Love you. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching it all the way through, people. Love you. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.